All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Steve, of course, with, in <laughs> with NVIDIA, with Newegg TV. Hey, welcome to the team, Hey, Steve. thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate it, Will. <laughs> of course, this is Will Park from NVIDIA here joining us today to do a live FAQ and a Q&A, actually, I should uh, say. Q&A on Shield, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a demonstration I think we have in store for everybody. How are you doing? Uh, doing well. Glad to be back. Thanks awesome. for having me. Awesome. Okay. I'm sure you guys noticed already we gave you guys a little a little peek into what was happening a couple seconds before we were ready to go live. <laughs> we'll thank the back control room for that. Um, a peek behind the curtain. That's right. <laughs> so now we we both, of course, know a bit about the Shield. So I've talked to you before. We've talked about the, the Shield in depth before. Play I'm, with I'm quite familiar with Shield, yes. I would imagine you would be. <laughs> Um, that aside, we actually wanted to try and find somebody that wasn't as familiar with the Shield, so I thought it might be a good idea to bring uh, to bring Kyle here on the show. Of course, you guys have seen him before. Kyle, why don't you come around and, and say hi? Why don't I? How's it going, guys? Kyle. Hey, everybody. I don't even know what that thing is. <laughs> what is that? It looks awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Well, uh, Will, what do you what do you want to start with? I mean, I know there's going to be some dying questions out there, but yeah. is there anything you want to kind of show people about it before we get started? Kind of give some familiarity to those who don't already know about the Shield. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. So, okay. you know, um, why don't I just talk about Shield just kind of generally? You know, okay. um, so it's uh, obviously our first uh, consumer uh, gaming product. Um, we're 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 traditionally known for obviously our graphical chops, right? We have our GeForce cards and um, our, our Tegra chips. So um, we parlayed that expertise into graphics and uh, uh, our expertise on graphics and chip making into a device powered by Tegra 4, which is the latest mobile chipset that we make, and um, decided to bridge the gap between Android and PC gaming. So now we have Shield, and that's what it looks like right there. I'll turn it around for you guys. Um, so what we did was we basically made it this uh, five-screen HD retinal quality touchscreen. Um, you can see it's a touchscreen because I can, I can swipe around on that. Um, to a console grade uh, game controller, which is what you see here. Pretty familiar controls. You know, you have your, uh, your D-pad here, your ABXY buttons here. Mm. Um, of course, your joysticks, which are uh, both the dual analog joysticks and they're both clickable. And on the back, uh, we have bumper right here. We got two triggers right here and a whole bunch of ports. We're actually plugged into micro USB for power and mini HDMI to output to a TV. Um, there's also a micro SD card slot and a uh, headphone jack there. Um, so we created this device to basically... Um, Charger real quick. To do a few things, right? As a gaming device, uh, we wanted it to run uh, Android games, the next generation of Android games that uh, feature, you know, more uh, enhanced graphics and richer gameplay, right? Mm -hmm. On top of that, we optimized those new generation of uh, Android games for uh, to run better on Tegra. Hmm. So they have even higher textures, uh, higher frame rates, new uh, uh, dynamic lighting, all that kind of good stuff. Um, the second thing we wanted to make sure it does was uh, provide entertainment. So outside of gaming, you know, you have, you can obviously read your books, you can watch your mu movies, listen to music on these uh, stereo integrated bass reflex speakers, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the third thing we wanted to make sure it did was to give our traditional PC gamer uh, 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 fans, our, our audience, um, a portable gaming device that didn't compromise on the graphical quality that you expect from um, PC gaming, right? So you have TXAA, super high anti-aliasing technologies, you know, incredible physics effects, PhysX, right? NVIDIA PhysX. Right. Um, we wanted to bring all that to a portable. It's not possible to do that, you know, processing natively on a small device like this, but what right. we did was we created some technology that links up to your PC and will actually, you know, run the game from your PC but stream it straight to Shield with minimal minimal uh, latency. So round trip uh, is, uh, you know, and actually that's a good segue, I think. I, you know, I saw a question, I think, on your Facebook page that yeah. asked, um, what is the latency be, uh, between Shield and PC when you're doing uh, right. PC streaming? It's actually one of the questions right now. Uh, I think it's uh, Missless Mouse is asking this particular question. Missless so, Mouse? Okay, yeah. Missless Mouse. So the latency on Shield to PC is sub 100 millisecond. We're targeting 50 to 75 milliseconds, um, 75 on the ha high end. Uh, to put that into perspective for you, um, something like a traditional console that may uh, you may be familiar with, made by a certain big company in Redmond. It's, uh, it usually exhibits about 100 millisecond round trip time between controller to console to TV. So we're targeting latency that's below your traditional console. 
Okay, hopefully, Finn. Yeah, hopefully yeah. that answered the question. <laughs> um, also, uh, Emilio23 asks, uh, why did you guys go with the Android uh, operating system while more games would be on iOS? You know, that's actually a, a great question. Um, so one of the things we wanted to make sure that Shield uh, accomplished was to embrace the developer community. We made Shield an open platform. So we did that to, uh, uh, and one of the reasons we, uh, one of the ways to do that was with the Android operating system. It's an open operating system, right? Um, we didn't put a skin on top, which delays, you know, uh, OS updates and, you know, makes it harder to be compatible, uh, harder for developers to develop for it. So we made it an open operating system. We used an open operating system. We didn't skin it um, with the hopes that developers would come to develop for Shield and do crazy things that we never even, you know, anticipated. You know, right now we can control a drone, but what happens if you know you want to control some other cool things, some other robots down the line? It's yeah. a lot harder to do that on iOS than it is on uh, on Android. So that yeah. So you know, in a, a very long answer to a short question, that's why we went with Android. Okay. And, and the Android logo is also green. The Android logo is green. <laughs> it's a beautiful marriage. Nvidia green, great. Good point, Kyle. That's a great point, Kyle. <laughs> so I'm here. <laughs> um, Kraken1 has a quick question. He says, uh, is it eventually going to be possible to stream PC games from various Wi-Fi networks other than the one in your home, i.e. the local coffee shop or a friend's house? You know, that's a great question right now. So, um, you know, first I should mention that we're launching the PC game streaming feature in uh, beta phase. Um, we're doing that to ensure that we can deliver the highest level of performance for the games that we're launching with. Uh, for PC game streaming, um, we just need want to make sure that you know if we're going to put, you know, the official NVIDIA marker on it, that it has top-notch performance, right? So um, um, for and I totally lost where I was going with that. Oh, right. So he, <laughs> <laughs> keep going, Will. You got yeah, this. Yeah. So he's uh, he he was asking um, why. Uh, refresh me again with the question. That's the best part about this is I just happen to have to control Z to bring it back up again. He just wants to know if you'll be able to play it from the internet. Right. So, if, oh, so right now, you know, it's only working on your home Wi-Fi network, um, and you know, we can't really speak to uh, our future plans that haven't been announced. But you know, what I can tell you is that we've been publicly demoing um, a new NVIDIA technology called NVIDIA Grid, and what NVIDIA Grid is, it's a uh, cloud cloud gaming system. We put we have a whole bunch of servers packed with GPUs that are running games at really high uh, graphical quality. And we stream those over the internet, over you know just whatever uh, uh, server uh, service you guys use, and stream that to thin clients like MacBooks, mm -hmm. which typically don't run those high-end games, right? Or, or even TVs. Is or TVs, yeah. or you know tablets, and even Shield. We demoed Grid going to Shield, so you know, I'll put that out there. I'll let you guys make the connection. Make connect the dots really quickly. Yeah. Uh, one completely off-topic question. One person asked, "Why is there a Mac on this desk?" <laughs> you know, that's a that's a that's a great question. <laughs> I don't know how this got here. This isn't even my computer. <laughs> it's there so we can destroy it. It's uh, it's <laughs> it's actually um, it's not a Mac. This is just it's it's all magic it's a shell. right here. Yeah, it's, it's a, a PC shell. inside. It's a shell. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a Raspberry Pi. In there. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Powered by Project Logan. <laughs> just kidding. I think I might get in trouble for that one. <laughs> um, uh, by the way, just so everybody knows, it, it's uh, we've been sh we've been now talking about the Shield. If you guys are just joining us, we're basically doing a, a quick Q and A. And any kind of questions you guys want to throw at us, go ahead and throw them in the uh, in the Twitch chat, and we'll happy we'll be happy to answer that for you. Uh, Will here, uh, he's uh, he's from Nvidia, of course. Will Park, if you haven't already recognized him from their YouTube channel. And, uh, and he does have a Mac uh, laptop that he's trying to disguise <laughs> from everybody. Um, I should say, uh, it's, oh, I'm going to slaughter this name, Al Alandrian, Alandrian asks, uh, how will we enable the HDMI display 1080p rather than just 720p? And I believe that's actually uh, a mistake, right? It's the screen itself that's 720p, the output can go up to 4K. Yeah, right. So. Um, there are a couple different uh, a answers to that, or a okay. couple different parts that I'm going to need to answer it in. Um, so first, yes, uh, Shield is powered by Tegra 4. Tegra 4 is capable of outputting video up to 4K. Um, so theoretically, if you have 4K TV, you can do that. Right now, with the current software, we are outputting only 720p, but with an OTA that we have planned. Actually, the OTA might have already gone live. That enables 1080p streaming. So uh, 1080p HDMI out, I out to, uh, to, a, to a TV or a monitor. Okay. So, um, you know, I guess the short answer is 
it does it, it does output in 1080p. Okay. Yep. So so hold on. If if you were Please. streaming a PC game directly from your PC, of course, you could stream it onto there and then VHDMI play it on your big screen TV in the living room, for example. That's right. And this is this is also including this isn't limited to like this doesn't exclude all of the the filtering like the anistro anistrobic filtering, you know, TXAA. All that stuff is still there. It's all it's all there because so what what's going on is your PC is crunching all the data, that, all the numbers for uh, the game to run, and all it's doing is it's outputting the stream, the the visual, the display to to Shield, and then when you connect this to a TV, you're just outputting that same yeah. same uh, visual stream. Yeah, the Tell PC's me more painting well. the picture. <laughs> so yeah, you get everything, man. You get TXAA, you get PhysX, you get all all the stuff that you you know you can only get on high end gaming PCs, and uh, you get it on this little guy, or put it onto a TV or a monitor, and uh, same experience. Yeah, nice. I should actually Not watered mention. down at all. I should completely yeah, exactly. mention this too. Awesome. We, we are actually using it to uh, an Intensity Pro, and it's currently capturing everything you see on the screen. I'm sure at some point our producer is going to put it up on the screen just to show you guys. Uh, but yeah, basically we are outputting it directly to our our uh, capture card and then streaming it directly to you guys. Um, so great question from uh, Aladrian. Aladrian, thank you. Yes, that's a great question. Um, uh, one, what is it? One one thousand feet above, one k feet above. Uh, asks, will the Shield support 1080p in the future, which has pretty much already just been answered uh, right now? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yes, that was a quick one. Uh, Mission Code asks, uh, the capacity of the Shield, the SD slot, uh, SD card slot, HSD, I believe it's... Uh, it's actually micro SD XC. XC. XC stands for extra capacity, right? So it used to be uh, uh, high capacity, and that was limited to 32 gigs. That was the uh, theoretical maximum for, for the previous format. Uh, the new format, microSD XC, uh, has a theoretical limit of two terabytes, and we support XC, microSD XC. You're not going to find a two terabyte card out there right now. Right. Um, maybe in a lab somewhere. I think the highest you can get right now is like 128 gigs, but that costs as much as a laptop. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not so, really worth it. At right, that right. Price. And and uh, you know, I think the the common XC format right uh, size is 64 gigs. So, right. Yeah. So you can safely get 64 extra gigabytes. You can get 64 extra gigs. Um, just a note, you know, be the new format XC does not come formatted. Mm -hmm. um, that's just how they, they they come from the factory. So uh, those cards you actually have to put into your PC and format before you use it on Shield. So don't, don't just plug it into Shield and think, you know, mm -hmm. oh, it's not detecting it. There's a problem with my Shield. Okay. You got to format that card first. Interesting. Note. Yeah. Um, also, how much uh, storage space does it already come with? Oh yeah. So this uh, this guy has 16 gigs on board. Um, you know, installing everything, 16 gigs, and of course the expandable memory for your media, you know, video, photos, music, all that good stuff. Cool. Yep. Excellent. Uh, all right. Well, XX Gamer X123 Double X asks, will it be able to play higher end games like GTA 5 when it comes out? Um, I mean, you know, I can't really speak to games that aren't out right now, but uh, as long as it, if it has controller support, yeah, very, very high likelihood. You okay. know, if you're uh, delivering that through. Uh, 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 Steam Sh should be fine. Okay, cool. Um, Prime Paladin asks, is the Shield capable of playing PC non-Android level games independent of the PC? So basically, what's the most powerful software you could throw on there that a PC would run? Um, not quite. So the most powerful... Well, like, like, let's say we pick uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, for instance, uh -huh. older title. Uh -huh. Would it be able to run that on its own? It has the hardware. To, Tegra 4 chip. Does it have the hardware to run that? You know, the, yeah. So that's that's a completely different question. Can the hardware run it? Um, probably. Okay. Uh, the older 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 games. Um, as far as I know, it's not available on Android, so that would be kind of an issue. Yeah. So uh, I don't know how to answer that one. Um, okay. So right now, it's it's we're not sure. It would depend, and it would depend on uh, the particular Android software in general before you can. Yeah. Answer. Yeah. I mean, you know. It only runs Android, right? You're yeah. never running a PC game natively on this guy. So right. um, if if they're asking if we can run an older PC title natively on this platform, well, if they ported it to Android, right. yes, sure, okay, absolutely. Cool. All right. Um, actually, you know that that's a, that's a good that's a good uh, segue into uh, uh, an, another point. Um, there are a lot of games, older console games, that have been ported to Android. Right. And we actually preloaded one of those guys right on here, and that's Sonic. Right, Sonic mm -hmm. 4 Episode 2. Right. Um, and that, the version we have is a Tegra optimized version, which actually looks better than the console version. Oh. I'm not talking about the old console version, I'm talking right. about the newer console ver version. So, um, yeah, totally possible. The hardware can do it. Okay, excellent. 
Uh, Mr. Twisted Sex. Sex. Oh, yeah. Oh, live TV. Uh, yeah, that's You're my fired. bad. <laughs> <laughs> you want, Mr. Twisted Six asks, will there be bigger screens available in the future? Uh, you know, I really can't comment on un unannounced uh, products. I can, yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, actually, it's a good point. Um, Kyle, why don't you, why don't you grab, uh, grab one of these and just show them a couple games? I mean, if, oh. I don't know what we have loaded up on it yet. Yeah. There you go, sir. There's Thank Julie you. over there this whole time. <laughs> I'll be right back. But, yeah. <laughs> right. Stolen. Let's see what I can find on here. Do you know well, GTA's on here? GTA may be loaded up on there. Um, you know what I would do is I would use the uh, bumpers to navigate the Ooh. Android. Yep, that is smooth. Uh, the bumpers, not the Oh, the bumpers. Oh yep. my gosh, I didn't even realize there were triggers, buttons there. Bumpers. We got triggers, we got bumpers, we got everything, man. Yeah. This is too much. All uh, con console grade uh, controller buttons, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, you know, really uh, good tactile feedback, nice and responsive. The, the click feel is just, you know, that's one of the things, we, right? Our DNA is gaming, so. Hmm. We, we know how important that is. So yeah. we, we focused a lot on the controller to make sure that it would appease the gamer in, in us, right? right. So. Well, while he's doing that, let me just uh, look at a couple more questions, just try and get through them. Sure. Quite a few. Uh, Tiger0629 asks, how much onboard video RAM does it have? So how much RAM does this particular SOC have in it? So the RAM number is actually, I believe, I don't want to say the wrong thing, so let me just... Uh, so you'll look that up real quick? just look that okay. up real quick. Oh, I yeah. Uh, I knew I was right. Okay. It, uh, it was, uh, so it's two gigs, right? And um, the, the, the RAM's running at 1,800 megahertz, so 1.8 okay. gigahertz. Um, 1,800 megatransfers per second. Megatransfers per second. And That's the way Paul likes to tell me, because I'm like, megahertz. He's like, well, let's just, let's be specific about that. <laughs> I'm kidding, Paul. He's behind the camera right now, giving me the eye. <laughs> the stink eye. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, she didn't ask. He didn't ask this question, but uh, the 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 Tegra 4 processor processor is actually clocked at uh, 1.9 gig gigahertz as well. So okay, perfect. FYI, uh, Crimson Sunbear asks: Is the Shield compatible with PC streamed indie games? PC streamed indie games that are not available on uh, Steam. Is that I guess that? Well, would be no. Um, stream stream PC. I would, let me go backwards. Well, so you know, maybe maybe uh, one way to clarify them. that would be you know what, at launch Actually, we're say. we're supporting um, uh, Steam games, right? Steam games with controller support built in. Um, but uh, at launch, like I said, we want to make sure that anything we put our brand on is top notch. So we're only officially supporting a subset of those Steam games. Okay. Um, but I mean, I don't see why not. Okay. You know, we're, so essentially, there could be. You know, like uh, Don't Starve or something like that. Some yeah. indie game. Yeah, okay. exactly. So uh, we just haven't we just haven't certified them right now. Um, okay. Down the line, I'm sure that's going to happen. Perfect. Uh, Mr. Cracker's man asks, "Can I text my friends from the Shield?" Oh yeah, totally. That's that's a great question. So there are a whole bunch of different ways to do that. Um, well, it depends what you mean by text. If you're doing SMS, I mean it doesn't have uh, cellular connectivity, so you can't really do. Um, you can't really do SMS, mm -hmm. quote unquote. But I mean, if it's like Google Voice, if it's WhatsApp, if it's, I don't know. Pretty much any Snapchat. Droid, <laughs> droid based app that's going to do some kind of SMS. Exactly. Internal. Any messaging app, you're good to go as long as it uses data, right? Mm -hmm. um, instead mm -hmm. of your cell network. And um, you do that in a few different ways. You can tap right on the screen uh, uh, with the keyboard on screen because it's a touch screen. You can use the uh, mouse cursor mode on the joystick to select keys, hmm. or uh, you can use the D pad to move around the keyboard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I did. I did actually experiment a little bit. That it's not really texting per se, but I use Voxer. So Voxer. Yeah, that's awesome. It also has a microphone built into it. Yeah. It has the the single the single slot 3.5 millimeter plug, so you can use like a iPhone earphones or yep. uh, you know there's a couple of different headsets that have that. But you basically could use that and uh, essentially use it as a as a communication device. So. Um, yeah, you know, and if you that. got if you got a headset, you know, with an inline mic, mm -hmm. you know, the the headphone jack actually supports that headset as well. So okay. um, uh, you can either use the speakers and the onboard mic mm -hmm. to just talk out loud, and uh, or you could plug in your headset and do it, you know, do it privately. Okay. Know. Yeah, using your nice. headset's microphone, basically. Right, exactly. Yep. Okay. Uh, one more thing I do want to mention. We are uh, another 10 minutes in and want to make a quick announcement in. once more time, one more time that we are here with Will Park from NVIDIA. And essentially, we're doing a Q&A about the Shield. So if you have any questions or concerns or, or exclamations to make, uh, go ahead and do that in the Twitch chat. And we'll be sure to answer any and all questions that you have. So 
Any and all uh, relevant questions? Yes. Well, the Mac, the Mac question was relevant. That was relevant, sure. <laughs> um, uh, Cyan23 asks, when is the patch to enable SD card installs going to be released? Um, so, you know, we're, we're pushing out over-the-air updates to Shield um, all the time. Okay. And uh, that is on the roadmap, and that'll be very near future, you know, um, okay. you know, before, I don't want to put myself in a hole here, but I mean, within months, a within couple months, a couple okay. months, yeah, a couple okay. months. Um, Pizza Belly Zero wants to know, can it play emulators? Yeah, so uh, because it's an Android device, you have full access to all Android apps, including those emulators, right? Um, so it'll run emulators, no problem. Now. Okay you want to make sure that you have the legal right to run any ROMs on those emulators. So you want to make sure you actually own that game mm -hmm. before you download that ROM and run it on an emulator. But sure, if you own that game, you download that ROM and you run it on an emulator, good to go. And it's integrated, with, uh, you know, it, it, it'll uh, work with Shield controls. So it's kind of uh, taking a new gen uh, twist to your old games. So right. I, I think that's kind of cool, like playing, you know, I. I used to play uh, Super Contra all the time, right? Super Contra, the most frustrating game ever for me. Yeah, you have to I get love super it spread though. Well, yeah, you exactly. You no, you just need, you just need the code, and then you have God oh, mode, right? Yeah. Up, up, down, down, left. Yeah, down, exactly. Right, yeah. And then I use you use the uh, controls on Shield to put the Konami code in, and it's uh, a little easier. Uh, little easier, yeah. Metroid, man, back in the day. But yeah, I, I played all those, and it, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Awesome. All right. Uh, Goat Job asks, will it be will it be available in Europe later this year? If not. Will it work fine if I choose to import it? Um, you know, so we're not we're we're rolling out. We're launching only in U.S. and Canada right now. So that's uh, that's 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 going to be my answer. That's, to the, that one, that's yeah. the bottom line right now. So the official official answer is is <laughs> if you're asking about the future, no comment. If you're asking right now, it's not available in the U.S. Okay. I mean, in in Europe. Just <laughs> not available in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Um, uh, Con one double n asks, will it be possible to use Steam Big Picture on Nvidia Shield? Oh yeah, totally, man. So I mean, that's 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 the whole point, right? So um, you know, maybe we can uh, do maybe we can that? yeah, maybe we can try to show that actually. Okay. Um, or actually, we, we should show some gaming first. Kyle's been yeah, Kyle's been over Kyle, here. <laughs> it's been a little quiet over fun. here. I've been wondering what? why. I, I what honestly haven't about? been listening to anything you guys have been saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm destroying an entire village right now. Yeah, man. With you're, my fists. You're rocking out on the conduit over there. Yes, I am. So it's what, pretty what, smooth, man. What are you playing? I can't, I can't see it. It's a first-person shooter, and okay. uh, it's actually kind of strange to me right now because I've never played a first-person shooter with two full joysticks before. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you know, I've I've done I've done the PSP thing, I've done DS, PC. and this is just completely of course, mouse, way right. more intuitive for me, especially even coming from like as a console gamer and a PC gamer alike. Mm. It's 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 pretty sweet. Cool. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, yeah the, the joysticks feel real good, right? I mean, uh, they do. They're they're. They've I got mean, some indentation in it, a little bit of grip. It's yep. It's, it's the little nice. little dots on them to you know help you keep uh, your awareness on there. Yeah, and I and I get sweaty easily, so uh, <laughs> you'll forgive me if I don't get this back to you. And that's right. In Taiwan, I heard you were just a big pool. <laughs> I was. I was. People, Might have to leave that shield me. here now. <laughs> I'm sure that sucks for you guys. That's right. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so maybe in a little bit we'll we'll show some. Uh, or did you want to try and show the the big picture now? Uh, sure. Let, you okay. know, why don't we jump right into it? I wasn't it. sure if Kyle was going to handle it. Just end my game. It's cool, uh, man. <laughs> so no you know, uh, just to be clear, what we're doing is uh, this is only this is not capturing. This is not outputting to the nope. to the display, right? Nope. So this is not related to what you're seeing there. We're connected to the computer over Wi-Fi. We have a local Wi-Fi connection, mm -hmm. and uh, we have GeForce Experience running. So, maybe I'll just show that, actually. Um, we did just update uh, the game here, so let's, good. let's hope that, that works. Oh, Do it's you good. want me to start it? Uh, no, let's, let's keep that paused. Okay. Nope. Oh. It's paused. Yeah. Go for it. Good enough. <laughs> but uh, so, when, uh, the way you launch uh, your, your Steam games uh, on Shield is you're going to push that middle button. That's your... Uh, that's actually Tegra the uh, Tegra. It, it's uh, we call it the Shield multifunction button. It serves oh, as wow. a power button. It wow. sh serves as a Tegra Zone button, right? Okay. Does PC streaming. Yeah. So when you when you hit that, what you're going to do? You, it's going to launch you into the uh, the Shield app here. And I'm just going to use the bumpers to kind of navigate around. It shows you your Shield games, which are your Android games optimized for Tegra. Um, it's got the Shield Store, which is all of those Android games that um, uh, we curate for you that, that you're going to have a really good experience on. Mm -hmm. And it's even got your PC games. So if I actually back up here, what you'll see is um, on the PC games, 
You, OK, yeah, so this is the list. So we have we can, we can open up Steam Big Picture directly just right here by tapping that. But the uh, software, GeForce Experience, that's running on the, the PC back there actually uh, tells Shield uh, yep, you'll see that. Yep, exactly right there. That's telling Shield what games you get uh, are what Steam games are in the library here. Now, when I go back to Shield over here, and I can interact with this in a few different ways. I can, you know, I can, I can scroll around. I can use my my joystick, and I can even uh, use my D-pad. It's kind of kind of hard doing this upside down. Um, I'm just going to launch a game, and let's see what happens. I think this will kind of answer that question. So we should probably be on. Uh, I don't. Let's get both of them on the screen, right? Yeah. We, uh, I, I threw something in the background where probably our producer will be popping up an overlay that shows this, and whatever he's looking at, it'll just show it in the bottom corner. Okay, cool. So, so well, um, maybe first thing, ah, that's one way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> he can switch to that. Screen. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, so it, it shows it live, whatever you see here, at the same time you see it there. So oh, gotcha. So I'm just going to fire up uh, Call of Duty here. I just got a gift. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for so you. So someone's like trying to troll me by giving me a gift mid and Paul is dying of laughter in the background right <laughs> now trying to keep it calm. This is great. <laughs> That's the best troll ever whoever did that. Yeah, good. Don't you dare job. send me any AAA titles right after that. <laughs> is it uh I think it's um, hanging here. I think I messed you up when I tried to Oh, Darksiders is installing. That's my bad. Okay. I probably I probably started that. So so I we probably want to. I'll let you do whatever you need to do there. Okay. And then I let, let me let me kick it out. Let's let's stop the download just so so yep. we can. Uh, yeah. Yep. I'm out now. You good? Okay. Yep. Cool. And it's still preparing, so I'm just gonna close that. Pause everything. Oh my God! I have 10 million things trying to download right now. Everything else. 10 million? Good. Really? Good. That many? <laughs> so that, well, <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna be specific, I might as well pick a big number, right? Because then it stop it everything. Oh wow! It's all updating. Well, I, I I got a couple games. Who needs a troll when you troll yourself? Yeah. <laughs> That was like the, uh, uh, any other games I have on here? I think that's everything. Good. Good to go. <laughs> cool. Okay. So let's try that again. So I'm going to go back. <laughs> I wish you guys could see what so I see from my perspective right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is live, folks. This yeah. is what happens this is what, live. This is how things go this down. how we roll. Oh, wait. We're probably going to want to get that out of the screen as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, cool. Usually trolls don't give you gifts. They only give you gifts when you're looking at their screen live. And let's uh, <laughs> let's get rid of. Uh, I don't know the. I think the download screen keeps on. Might be inhibiting uh, it. Yeah, it might be messing uh, it up a little can bit. Can we go to the store then, maybe? That's where I usually go. Or I mean, let's close out of it. Can you do offline mode? There you go. Okay, so let me try this one more time. When did we get that background? Did you put that background on there? It's always been there, Steve. It is not because I helped it set that. To, well, Paul did the majority of the work. That's how I the monitor pointed came and clicked. Like. We have the uh, the R. Go. So now it's launching. Go ahead, I'll let you carry it away. Preparing. Why are you always preparing? Just go. Just go. Yeah. <laughs> launch. <laughs> preparing to launch. Just launch. So I was going to say before, what you're seeing on the screen right here is the actual PC that we're using to stream from it, and it's our our uh, it's our D frame in wind case that uh, Paul showed off a little while ago. It's the orange framed case that's that we use for uh, test bedding, and essentially. We have uh, what's the video card? A GTX 780 in it, and Paul, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you. 780. Yes, yeah, 780. I already got that. Rampage 4 formula. Rampage 4 formula, and uh, the 30. What is 3970 it? 3970X. 3970X inside of that, and uh, I think we have six, 16 gigs of RAM, right? 16 gigs. Yeah. G-Skill memory. Thank you, G-Skill. In other words, sick. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. So it's just, and it's so quiet. It's just right there. And a, and a Rosewill Hercules 1600 watt uh, power supply too to boot. Very nice. heavy. You know, you know, part of the uh, problem here might be uh, the file sync. It's, uh, it's trying to use the cloud. Yeah, yeah I can see it popping up. Let me try a different game. I think it, it's okay. just the updates on on, on uh, Call of Duty is just. I'm just I'm a ruining the show with my with my inherent FPS playing of Call of oh, Duty. Oh no worries, man. Yeah. These things happen when it's live. Um, yeah. Okay. But here, while I try to get this going, you know, maybe we can do another question. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. a good idea. Um, okay. So, Major Elites asks, will there be custom shield tags available from NVIDIA, or, we, or will we be able to design our own? In other words, I think I, I mentioned this. I want to know who videos. asked that question, because uh, that's an interesting question. Major Elites. Major Sorry. Elites. Okay. In front of yours? Well, you know... Okay, let me answer the first part of that question. Just show them what um, we're talking about here, too. Exactly. So, this if we turn it around, that's a tag. Yeah. 
That's what we're calling tags. tags. Yeah. Um, they're magnetized, so if you just slap it on there, it'll just come go right on. And you know, they come off real easily, and you know, you don't have to just push it right there, and the magnet should just grab it and take it. Oops. And when you're done with it, you can put it on the fridge and hold up your high scores there you go. that you yeah. printed out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you see how they work? Oh, so yeah, they're removable. They're, <laughs> they're removable. Um, we do have uh, uh, optional uh, custom tags. You know, there's one in glossy black. It ships with the silver one. You get a optional, there's an optional glossy black one and an optional carbon fiber to look one. Mm -hmm. um, as far as designing your own shields, that's, a, that's an interesting question. You know, I'm going to ask that reader to stay tuned. To stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. Because I would love it to just be able to, to Wouldn't just that take be it cool? to, your, to your nearby, you know, creative artist and he just goes at it with an airbrush, you know? Well, oh, no, of course. I mean, if you take your own shield and you take it to like a tattoo guy or an airbrusher and he does it, for sure. But oh, okay, um, I, I, okay. thought the, I thought the guy was asking if, you know, we're going to... Twofold questions. Right, yeah. right. It, will NVIDIA allow them to customize it and will he be able to do it himself? So. Right. So if you do it yourself, sure. You know, okay. it's, it's uh, I mean, you're just working with plastic material, right? So if you can work with that and print on there, you're good to go. Okay. Um, as far as NVIDIA producing uh, custom designs that um, are outside of that glossy black and the carbon fiber look I talked about, um, stay tuned. Stay tuned on that. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Lorenzo Ortiz asks, how long will the battery last? And that's actually a really good question. That's a great question. Um, let me preface it with this, right? So we have basically high-end phones. How long do you? Whoa! <laughs> no, not like that. Oh, no. I don't know. Okay, that's wait. Horrifying. That's what my mind's. At. I don't know. Man. <laughs> Never mind. Reset. Kyle, the first time I've ever heard him be quiet. I on had nothing like to that. do with Bloop. this. Let's put that reset <laughs> button. Okay. So reset. Uh, the answer to it that is. Um, so basically, you have mobile guts in here, and you know, think of a phone or a tablet. How slim and how small those are. And this has a lot more space on the inside. So what we did was we put a gigantic battery in there. Uh, a couple gigantic batteries, and basically that allows you to uh, run Android games um, for about the high-end Android games, the Tegra optimized Android games, for about four to five hours. Um, when you're doing stuff like just using the Android operating system, maybe you're just watching a movie. Right. Um, HD movie or something. HD movie. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get 10, um, e maybe even more uh, yeah. hours out of it of continuous uh, use. And that's because, you know, Tegra 4 has this fifth uh, battery saver core that we call it okay. and uh, what that allows you to do is when um, you're doing uh, more simple tasks e even HD video is considered a simple task right okay. HD video music web browsing reading a book uh, doing email you're only using that battery saver core so mm -hmm. um, that's why that the 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 time between uh, you know the 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 uptime between Android games and streaming a movie is gonna be completely different or watching an HD movie is completely different right because okay. turns out an Android game is gonna be a lot more graphically intense so it's gonna use the GPU so it's gonna burn more power right but I mean four to five hours of continuous gaming that's I think that's pretty impressive yeah no it definitely is yep yeah especially if you're gonna watch something for like 10 hours or so oh totally um, want to uh, want to ask a couple more questions here we've got Iron Maiden LTD he's asking will there be games dedicated to the shield so just just developers making games just for the shield uh, that's a developer call. Right now, what we're, uh, the tack we're taking is we're actually going to the developers uh, who are making Android games and helping them optimize those games with stuff like I said before, I'll say it again, um, you know, higher textures, um, uh, extra bonus levels, uh, but on, well, let's stay on the technical side, uh, uh, stuff like um, particle physics, ragdoll physics, right, uh, volumetric effects, dynamic lighting, shadows, um, I mentioned the textures. Uh, we help those developers build all that into games optimized for our Tegra processor to take advantage of all, all that extra horsepower in there that maybe the regular version of the Android game wouldn't take advantage of, right? Because the regular Android games have to cater across the board to all mm -hmm. different kinds of hardware. So uh, when we can optimize it for Tegra, we can kind of shoot for the stars. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So um, yeah, you know, it's uh, it, it, right now we're, we're taking the uh, optimized model, but I mean, if a developer wants to develop only for Shield, we're we're courting developers actually. So okay. yeah. you want to find more info? That would, that would probably be uh, you want to go to Nvidia's Dev Zone. That's the place to find more info on that. The bleeding edge. The bleeding edge, absolutely. Okay, uh, Gumby eight 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 asks, and a really poignant question actually. Does the Shield have any USB ports for my mouse and keyboard? Now that's a loaded question, right? Because most of us who are PC gamers, we grew up on a mouse and keyboard. It's the console generation that goes more for controllers. Right. I will use a console controller for racing games, uh, for some third-person shooters. Mm -hmm. It just depends on on the mood and what I'm feeling like. Sure. Uh, obviously, if I was laying down on the couch or something, I I wouldn't have room for 
keyboard and mouse, but the simple fact remains, if I did and someone wants to jump on and, and sit at my desk to do something else and I want to get away or I'm somewhere else with it, sure. I know that there isn't any physical place to do that, but is there any way to do it like a Bluetooth wireless type deal? Yeah, totally. Bluetooth, uh, <coughs> mouse, Bluetooth keyboard, Bluetooth anything okay. uh, you're going to be able to attach to here. Um, but actually, you know, yeah, there's no full-size USB port, there's no um, PS2 port. Who uses PS2 ports though? But I mean, like, yeah. uh, there's a micro USB port back there. Okay. And so if you have adapters on a USB, say, a USB flash drive or a USB mouse, if you can, ad if you can uh, get an adapter to make that fit into a micro USB uh, port, then it'll work as well. Wow. So, yeah, okay. flash drives, yeah, stuff like that. Mouse, I didn't yeah. know that. That's totally. actually really Yeah, but cool. Bluetooth is probably the way to go. Yeah, easier, less, yep. less problems. I mean, you've got a portable device. You're not going to want to carry around a mouse with the cable yeah. on it. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, no. I, mean, I love my gaming mouse, and that has a cable on it, so, you know. <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Crackerman asks, uh, is the refresh rate of the Shield screen 60 hertz? Could I possibly even overclock the refresh rate of the actual PC getting more frames uh, per second than the refresh rate? Because it th I guess it's because it's streaming it, so it's almost like a movie being sent to this, right? Right. So he's asking if he can if he can overclock the frame rates on his PC. Will that also uh, stream well, like say 90 frames to Shield? Well, <clears throat> I think I think what he's saying is he's he's asking about the refresh rate of the Shield first. The refresh rate here is 60 hertz, uh -huh. right? Okay. So he wants to know uh, could it be uh, possible to overclock the refresh rate? Uh, if the actual PC was getting more frames uh, per second than the refresh rate. So that's an I interesting question. You know, I'm not sure how to answer that. Um, right now, I'm pretty sure we're, we're optimized for 60 frames. So okay. I'd want to say no, but I can't give you a definitive answer on that one. So yeah, so bottom line is we don't know whether or not in the pipeline if the GTX 770 card, 780 card that's in there right now, if it's encoding at what rate it would encode at if we overclocked it or not. Like it, would, it wouldn't necessarily send out more frames because of that, right? It might be more responsive, but we're not necessarily we don't actually know how quickly it would view on this faster than right. 60 hertz. Yeah, exactly. Not. So you know, I, I haven't personally seen anything like that, so I can't right. really speak to it. But um, okay. um, yeah, that's an interesting question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna sidestep that one. Okay. Let's um, let's do some let's do some PC gaming. Cool. Can we do that? Yeah. Absolutely. Kyle, so our, our our man in black. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> so let's let's see if this works, man. So uh, first of all, what I did was um, let me go into the app. All righty, and I'm going to connect to it. Connect to the computer. And I think uh, so. Call of Duty was giving us problems with uh, file sync uh, with updates and stuff like that. Let's okay. see if another game. Uh, did the Metro update finish? No, not yeah. yet. Yeah. I yeah. tried to throw a bunch of games in there, but sort of ran short on time. I think My Little Pony is, is uh My Little is all Pony, prepped. nice. That's totally well, downloaded. Everybody's playing that. Candy Crush, what? Candy Crush, uh, what? So if you, uh, I mean, the whole reason we're doing this was because folk, uh, there was that one question about Steam Big Picture, right? Yeah. So um, I wanted to show that through a game being launched, but we had some uh, update file issues. So okay. um, what you're seeing now is actually, um, yeah, you got, a, big picture. you got a big picture right here on, on, on the screen. So what I did was... Um, oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, okay. exactly. So if <coughs> I... Uh, here, I'll show you what that looks like. Kyle, don't look. This is not for you. Too late. <laughs> oh, you're watching it on the monitor. <laughs> so I'm going to kick out of that and just do it again. Um, since we're on the screen here, mm -hmm. I'm going to restart that process. So uh, I don't know. Actually, if we can show the the this screen right here yeah exactly so what I did before was I tried to launch the try to launch this game the files weren't there so we couldn't launch it but since the question was steam big picture there is the option to just launch that right there and it's gonna launch steam and then basically what you see on the shield display is what you're gonna see on the monitor it's one-to-one -one right now I'm not really so, sure which yeah. games I have installed either too which uh, which ones do you want to try and do oh it's got a little little notification oh, oops, up there yep. So, you know, I'm not sure which one we want to try to use. Um, I, I don't really mess with big picture much, so I can't tell what's installed at this point. Sure. Um, oh, I mean, the thing is, it's, it's going to depend on what's in the library and what's updated, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, just fish through should it I just quick. try to launch this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, you can do whatever you want. I was just saying, if you want to try and see what else is there, go like... Uh, okay, well... Let's just see if this multiplayer... Um, multiplayer should have worked. It should have worked, right? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if it works. That's the, one, the only one you haven't tried yet. Maybe Kyle can get smoked under my name. <laughs> just ruin your KD ratio. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's, <laughs> it's, not, 
I'm horrible, dude. I have like a, like my, my typical game is like 30, 20. <laughs> so, than nine. <laughs> there we go. But I have a lot of fun, so I'm trying, I guess. That's all that matters, right? That's right. Doesn't matter if you're dying a lot, you'll still have fun. Doesn't matter, I killed our entire team and everybody true. was depending on me, but that's okay. So there we go. So now we're launched. Okay, um, cool. I don't know why I wasn't doing this before. Oh, because we're a multiplayer now. I didn't do multiplayer. You didn't, that's before. the only one you didn't Yeah, try. exactly. Yeah. Who go plays figure. single player? Pff, yeah, come on. Multiplayer. Oh, wait, so, let's try it. Yeah, let's launch it. Let's do this. Do I want to do online or do I want to do campaign? Yeah, do, do online? it. Online? Do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't cool. care. Yeah, roger that. Right Double XP, what? This weekend? Oh, I missed that. Let's go, go to a public, public match. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. do, do it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, hardcore for sure. And. Uh, Kill Confirmed is always fun. Okay, Kill Confirmed. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be doing much playing Upside Down on Shield right now. But oh, no, they can, they can see this. Oh, they can so, see this? Yeah, they, yeah. Th there's, a little, there's a little overlay. Oh, right no, now. but I'm saying I, I don't know if I can. Okay, yeah. I might as well pick do it up. The, yeah. Do this. Nice. Kyle's like, <laughs> over here in the corner. <laughs> and actually, you know what would be cool is if you can show the screen and me at the same time, you know, we'll, we'll show that the. The lag. The, yeah, exactly. That, yeah. you know, the round trip time there. Oh, no, I need inverted. Oh no, I need inverted. <laughs> I should have inverted my controls. Shooting at the ground. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try playing this uh, How do you, how do you run, like triggers? I never use a controller for this Yeah, game, so, so I'm pushing down on the grenade, left. Grenade, grenade. Yep, there we oh. go. Oh! Yeah, I suck. Caught that one in the mouth. Yeah, so uh, I'm pushing down on the left trigger now, right to zoom, and uh, I'm gonna... Right trigger, uh, nope, yep. I suck, so that's the problem. Unfortunately, but at least don't you suck in real time without much lag. Yeah, yeah, yeah without much lag. <laughs> I, I suck with very Silver little lining. lag. Silver lining, everybody. So, oh wow, I didn't even know where that came from. <laughs> Why don't you give him Kyle that? I'm gonna give play. this to so Kyle. I can suck even more. Exactly. Thanks. So right. Let me suck. There'll be a bunch of people now trying to jump in and join our game. Um, young uh, Young D four hundred four asks, does it have a rumble feature? Uh, the rumble feature. So we had to make a decision. Um, do we want to have badass speakers, or do we want rumble control and you or, just had a rumble that cavity pack. to work with? Right? Yeah, that you cavity, knew, right? You knew the resonance and everything else. Exactly. That so if we did the rumble, it would it would uh, you know the cavity is filled with um, acoustic tubes. Mm -hmm. So if we had the rumble, it would be a problem for that. We, it was it was one or the other, <coughs> and our decision was the sound's more important. But if we build enough bass into these speakers. There's your rumble, essentially. So, right. So, when are you, when are you going to feel rumble? When you ex when something's exploding, when mm -hmm. you hit an ob 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 obstacle or something like that. Right. Uh, the sound of that impact usually has enough bass to make the shield control rumble a little bit. Right. So it's kind of yes. So, so there the, is a rumble kind of component to it. So the idea is is uh, rumble is almost the poor man's sound. So like if you didn't know, right? <laughs> yeah, like if actually. you didn't know how much bass was supposed to happen, you get a little brrrr. Exactly. But now we're rumbling from the actual sound of it. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, this might be a rehashing of another question, but Ryan EVZ71 asks, uh, will there will there eventually support what, what is it? Basically, will it eventually support um, older games that are uh, PC games, older PC games basically? Uh Sorry, I completely blank. I was completely not listening. To oh, that's okay. No, it's um, <laughs> he just asked, will this eventually have support for older PC games? My guess is that it's constantly refreshing. It just right. depends. Right. So we're always working on this. I'm guessing. Exactly. We're always working on this. Um, those old, older games. I'm going to assume they're Steam games. Okay. Um, and you know, I'll just say what I said before, which is. Um, we are officially only so supporting a subset of Steam games with controller support because we want to ensure top-notch performance on those games. Um, but that's in the beta phase, right? So the, uh, the, more, the bigger answer is that any Steam game you have with controller support should be good with, with Shield. Mm -hmm. um, just got to maybe like run it a couple times. If there's no updates popping up or anything else, exactly, then it's good. Exactly. So it's essentially anything that would interrupt the normal process of it telling it, click the mouse button, it telling it, do this. If there's something to pop up or something to interrupt that. Like a download process. Like a download process or something. Or someone like that. gifting you something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that, exactly. And that would stop it. Right. So but, I, you know, I'm not sure if they were asking if it's an out of date uh, game or an older game. Like, I'm thinking like older, like. Like Crisis 1. You know, is I would like think crisis? even older than that, like um, like a, like a, I can't like Sonic was a good example, but that's already on Android. Right, so. right, right. Um, so but stuff on Steam, I can't even deal yeah. with that. So we don't, we can't, we can't guess what's not available yet. But the the idea is, as games come in, you guys are constantly working on exactly. it. Exactly. Is that what I'm getting? From yeah, this? exactly. Okay. So it's, uh, if it's in Steam, yeah. It's if it's in Steam with controller support, yeah. 
Okay, cool. Uh, Datus asks, uh, does the Shield offer any great advantages to a Galaxy S4 paired with a decent Bluetooth controller? Oh, yeah, man. So you're, you know, so, I mean, shoot, where do I start? <laughs> uh, decent Bluetooth controller. There are a lot of them out there, and I actually have used them. Um, I mean, dude, the controls are, they're sick, right? I mean, there's oh, no yeah. way you can control, you can compare, like, a Bluetooth game controller to this thing. Absolutely. First of all, so that's the benefit, right? The, okay. the tactile uh, response, the full-size game controls, uh, the clickables, joysticks. Um, you're not going to match that, right? A screen that follows it too, because it's attached to it. Exactly. But then some of these controllers actually have like clip in, so soft. you can actually clip the phone oh, into cool. it. So yeah, so so it does work. Um, okay. So, but we're you you're going to have a lot more benefits with Shield, right? We have the speakers. Mm -hmm. That's basically your. There's no other device that's going to come close to the sound output of these speakers. Um, no other mobile device that can do it. Right. We uh, we don't benchmark our speakers against phones. Like, it'll blow a phone out of the water. We benchmark our speakers against, like, a jam box. Oh. So think of it in, that ter in those terms, and, uh, uh, yeah, the audio benefits there, the yeah. tactile benefits there. Um, the display, it's a big 5-inch uh, display. So, uh, sure, the S4 does have a big display. Um, so maybe, maybe it's on par there. Okay. Um, but as far as uh, uh, the games themselves, you know, you have a lot of... Uh, I spoke to the Tegra optimi optimized games before. Those don't exist on the Galaxy S4, unfortunately. Right. So you're you're gonna have a you're gonna be much more limited in your game uh, your gaming experience, right? Even if uh, it's the same title, uh, the richness, the graphical richness, just isn't gonna be there. Okay. Yep. And Sounds then good. you know, if you're gonna if you uh, PC game streaming uh, is just not available on anything that's not called Shield. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, so we have Slur Peaking asking a question, are there any plans to optimize or develop mirror casting to home theater televisions, which is, of course, the wireless streaming to TVs? Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I saw. So actually, yeah. if, uh, I think Kyle's busy, yeah. busy, busy playing there. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> one second. We'll one second. One second we'll he's we'll gaming. Uh, yeah, actually. So. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you guys want to overlay on top of the feed right now, but what I'm going to do is uh, this, again, this is uh, the shield multifunction button, and this guy serves as the power button. And to answer that mirror, qu mirror cast question, I think the best way to do it would be if we can show the screen now, I'm going to hold down the shield button, which acts as the power button in this case. When I hold it down, it pops up the power dialog. And if you look at the bottom here, we have an option for mirror cast wireless display. Um, so the answer is no, it's not coming. It's here. It's already here. It's already here. Okay. Cool. Um, All right, you can get back to your gaming. Thank bro. you. <laughs> <laughs> I was dominating, by the way. <laughs> yeah. My team won. <laughs> um, they want to know also, uh, I should say, what is this? Lil May 4, 4M wants to know uh, Is the shield very drop resistant? Um, there's a second part to that question, but first you can answer that. Absolutely. So, you know, it's one of those things where you have to hold the shield to really understand. You know, the pictures are one thing, but when you put your hands on shield, um, you really get a sense for the build quality and the quality of the materials. Um, there's nothing I can say to really give you that same experience as holding it. But I will say, yes, very drop resistant. We made sure there's, uh, we, we did a lot of durability testing on it. Let's test um, it right now. <laughs> you know? With it connected, dude, yeah. at least disconnected from it. As our, as our live demo unit, I would want to say no, <laughs> but um, actually I do have a backup unit. Maybe we can, we can bring the backup unit out and uh, maybe toss that around. Have you ever seen those Stay QVCs where like, they'll, they'll do something to like, test the quality of something? Yep. Like the, the guy with the sword, for instance, he'll smack, smack, and then he stabs himself. It's like, <laughs> I feel like that's going to happen yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, like something's going to fall know, something and Kyle gets gonna electrocuted. Happen. We might need emergency medical attention it's in It's in studio. the shield case, actually. When um, shield attacks. <laughs> uh, no, in there, in the main pocket. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, so it's very durable. Um, uh, FYI, if you find yourself, awesome, if you find yourself uh, near a shield experience center, you can actually go in, find a shield kiosk, and ask for a hands-on demo, and uh, the uh, shield ambassador will open up the case and put it in your hands to give you an idea of what the durability looks like. Um, but, uh, oh, hey. So I have a, an official shield carrying case right here. It's uh, reinforced nylon. You can see the texture on it if I go like that. It's got some cool design elements. The coolest thing being, yeah, there's a wrist strap too. The coolest thing is the, uh, 
the uh, charging access port in the back, so I can charge the device while it's closed. So that's that's pretty cool. There. I've got a I've got a twelve thousand uh, mAh battery that, nice. I, that I carry around for you know events and stuff because I'm always my phone's always dying yep. or something. Actually, about two of them just so I could keep swapping them every night. That's the way to do it. Um, but I'm assuming that I could just plug it into that. It has a two point one amp or one amp. Oh, that's uh, perfect. Uh, yeah, you want to plug in the two point one amp. Okay, cool. Just to make sure because the battery's so big, you want to make sure yeah. <laughs> that uh, that uh, you're charging it. You know, it'll take forever nice. to charge this big battery if you're if you're doing a a, a, a one watt a one amp. Uh, it just take forever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I don't know how we're supposed to test this. Do I turn it on and I drop it and I show them that it's still turned Dude, on? Dude, your shield. You okay, let's it out. let's let's do it. Meanwhile, Phil in the other room is going, "Oh Jesus, is he going to do it? He's going to do it." <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, my backup's not charged, no but me no, so. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, he's not in the room. I just got a message. <laughs> you know what? You know, what? screw it. Let's do it with the live one. This do one. It? This one's out of battery. Yeah. 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 Can close it? Uh, oh, it would probably be a good idea to also take that cable yeah, out first. Wait, is that gonna affect your? Uh, yeah, capture? but it should. It should. It will. But as soon as he plugs it back we'll in, it should pick it back okay. up again. Okay. So actually, maybe we should show the screen and show it running. So yeah. Show Android running, right? So let's do that. That it's not just like a live dummy unit. Yeah, exactly. So nice switcheroo there, Kyle. Boom. <laughs> right. We actually got another shield down here that's working just fine. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to fix it. <laughs> well, no, the other shield I have here actually. You can drop uh, it on the table. This I guess, one has um, no battery. Yeah. No. That was my bad. I can charge that over here. Yeah, let's waiting. let's charge this one. In case we actually do. We should have dropped the it. dead one and pulled out the the, yeah. the real one. Like, <laughs> it actually <laughs> charges it. Dropping it actually charges the shield. Um, okay, so yeah, it's live. Let's not cut away, right? So let's go wide. Yeah. So I'm just gonna close it because I've never dropped it with the screen open. I'm not sure it was made for that, but I mean, from here, if we just that's that's not much, right? I mean, do we need to do it on the floor? I want to kind of make sure that they see it, right? Paul, you got a hammer. So, <laughs> you got a hammer. Oh, you felt that, right? Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to hit my, uh, hurt hit me. my laptop. That was Did you break your laptop Drop with the shield? There. Drop it. Can We're you see here? it in the corner? Yeah. Just, just how, how high? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. It's good? Yeah, just drop it, man. Just a real life demonstration. Yeah. Real life situation. Oh my. Oh my God, you broke it's just, it. It's just the, the tag. tag. It's just the tag. That so, way you can trick all your friends that you broke it. That's, the, that's <laughs> right. So this is magnetic, so it's just going to go right back on there. Snap right on. Good to go. But now, I feel like I'm doing an infomercial show, show right now. Though. That's like okay, so boom, right there. The it screen's is a all cracked. Infomercial. The screen's all cracked. <laughs> Use, uses the air we breathe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but wait, if you order now, <laughs> no. So yeah, everything works. It's good to go. Um, very, very durable. I mean, I don't know how else we can show it. So, um, so I've got, I've got a question, I, and we're just because we're running so long now. Um, I'm dying to know if it's going to work with Origin, and I know it's. We're talking Steam. We're talking Steam, and Steam, you know yeah. what? I'm, I'm big on Steam, but there's certain games that EA is not going to let me have on Steam. Right. Battlefield Three, for instance. Right. Um, is that going to work with this? Will it work with this? So the. You know, we're 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 working all the time with uh, with EA with Valve. So there are ongoing discussions right now that you know we. I don't want to comment on anything we haven't okay. announced. Okay. But um, okay. you know, uh, keep your hopes up. There will be there will be much rejoicing if uh, if we see it. Oh, I'm sure there thing. will be, and we, yeah. we we we're hoping to uh, uh, make gamers pr pretty happy. I mean, regard, I mean, but. Don't get me wrong, Gabe Noel, you're awesome, dude. Seriously, you you pack it in and and you always come up with some crazy totally. ideas and you just execute and that is phenomenal. The fact that he's always about gamers, I just I really want to see EA do something similar at least for this product because it would show that you know they're really open to something like that. Totally. Um, I'm sure you guys are all in talks about it, so don't if you guys are talking about it, don't worry about it. Sign the contract. Yep. <laughs> yep. But to get it going. Um, bottom line is that's awesome. So. Uh, let me try and skim through some some really good questions because I still have a ton left and we're already at 55 minutes. Oh man! So l l let me you stop talking so much and just bang those out. Okay. We should do a lightning round. Lightning round. Yeah. Lightning round. My questions. Yeah. Go go go! Yeah, All right. See if we can knock these out really really quickly. All right. Frazzlebob asks: Are are Nvidia going to let mobile phone manufacturers like Apple use Nvidia chips in the future? I think. Uh, well, yeah, actually, oh, I don't know how to. The short answer is the Apple's already using our graphics cards. Mm -hmm. I mean, our our GPUs. So, mm -hmm. um, like, is that the question? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, game winner, game winners forty two asks: Are there any plans to to map touch buttons functions into the buttons? Um, can buttons be mapped to into emulators? Actually, we mentioned emulators yeah. earlier. So it's yes. already working. Yep. So yeah. Totally. Uh, but the other one is: Are there plans to map touch screen functions to the buttons? As in macro? I'm not sure, I'm actually. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, here, let's show this. 
Um, I mean, so I'm not sure what touchscreen buttons they're talking about, but I mean, if you're swiping like that, I mean, that's... Well, then there's the keyboard, too. I right? mean, so I'm using Google. the bumpers here, and that's, that's mapped to there. Oh, keyboard. Okay, so yeah. let's, let's actually show that then. So keyboard. Um, there are a few different ways to get to the keyboard. Um, like I said, you could tap on, on them, uh, obviously. But I mean, uh, you have stuff like, I don't know if you're able to see this on... Yeah. Are you seeing me delete that? Oh, yeah. So I'm using the X button to delete there. So that's that, uh, at that level, yeah, it is mapped to that. Um, another cool thing is uh, the right joystick here it brings up a cursor. So I can use that to say, click down on this, click down on that. So if you like web browsing or whatever. Exactly, small links or even the keyboard and then back out like that. So yeah, the, the controls are completely mapped out, you know, regardless of where you're at. Okay, cool. Uh, moving right along, uh, Ryan E71 asks, uh, does it include a built-in microphone for things like Skype? Yes, it does, and the microphone's right underneath, in between the two speakers and right underneath the monitor. Or the uh, screen. Can you see that, that little, it's that little thing. Yep, that little yep. indentation right there, the right little. in the center there. That cute little nub. Yep. All right, uh, Young D404 asks, can you use the controller for the Xbox? Can you can you use can you use as a controller for the Xbox? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. You nope. can try. You yeah. can try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one's stopping. Uh, there'll probably be hacks at some point. I'm sure someone. Well, will you know, like that's why we're we're talking to developers. You know, we yeah. want to make we we want to we want them to do crazy things. Mm -hmm. Maybe not exactly that. Maybe yeah. not controlling an Xbox controller, but we yeah, want Microsoft them to do crazy is things like this. right now. No! <laughs> <laughs> we just got done talking to yeah. AMD. Um, Noah PC Freak asks, does the Shield require Wi-Fi? Technically, it doesn't require it at all. It doesn't no. require it at all. Um, what you're going to want Wi-Fi for is uh, streaming movies, streaming music. I mean, downloading that stuff and playing your uh, uh, PC game yeah. streaming. PC uh, streaming. Yep. PC streaming is going to require Wi-Fi, but I mean, it's a standalone device. You can use it with all the content that's on there. Do you want a game while we're while we're talking? Just sure. something else to look at. Gladly. Uh, let's see. Does it have a camera? <laughs> Thanks, guys, for hanging in there. I, we had a couple technical difficulties. I ran back as quick as I could and fix it. Paul was over there, like uh, rubbing people's shoulders and saying it'll be okay. Boo was crying a little bit, but we're okay now. So our stream went down. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes, the stream went down. So uh, let me flip this back, actually, since we're looking at a disconnected game. Um, the idea is still to, to just knock out as many questions as I possibly yes. can in the shortest period of time as I possibly can. So we already answered about the keyboard and mouse. Uh, then we also have a question from Chad. I can't read it. Chadis Croft 22 How many stream processors does it have, and how many are assigned to the GPU? Well, there's actually three questions in there. And when we see 4.3. Okay, so let me let me go back in reverse order. Your uh, Jelly Bean Android Jelly Bean 4.3 is coming uh, very soon. Give us uh, it's a matter of weeks. So give us some, give us give us more than uh, give us several weeks. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll we'll get that out ASAP. You know, it's an unskinned version of Android, so we can we can turn these around real fast. As far as uh, how many GPUs is that right? How many GPUs uh, do we use for PC streaming? Um, uh, we use one GPU, uh, and it takes advantage of all cores in that GPU. Okay. Um, so if you have a, if you have an SLI uh, a rig going on, we're only taking advantage of one GPU right now. Right. So yep. if you have two 760s and SLI, it's just going to take the main one and use that. Right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Um, and uh, how many stream processors does this have? I don't know what this means. Is a shield? Is a PC? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the answer to that question okay. is. Okay. Anyway. So if we're talking about the graphics card, it would be whatever the graphics card has exactly. in terms of the SOC. Does it have any stream processors in Tegra 4? Uh, yeah. So you know, uh, Tegra 4 GPU is a GeForce class GPU. It's got 72 GPU cores. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, moving right along, Engineer09 wants to ask, can you use an external microphone with it? Yes, you can. Yep. Uh, it's just going to take a 3.5 millimeter single uh, jack to, to do it, so similar to the ones you would find at the end of an iPhone. Exactly, just your standard headphone jack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. easy. And uh, what kind of audio is it? Is it uh, stereo mono 5.1? 5.1. Awesome. Uh, then Khan wants to ask, does it have tilt control like six axis? Uh, you know, there is... Uh, yeah, it, so it's got uh, six axis uh, support, but I mean, I can't imagine. Yeah, sure. The answer is yes, but I mean, I, I prefer the controls over tilt anyway, so. Okay. Uh, Mr. Crackerman asks uh, Is the audio output of the Shield mono f stereo 5.1? Oh, yeah, I think that's 5.1, yeah. seven. That's 5.1, okay. Um, what uh, W2F Sloth asks Any plans for a 3D support of the Shield, like a 3DS? 
Uh, you know, we can't talk. I, I'm, I can't talk on unannounced uh, products. NDA. NDA. Okay. NDA. Glitch Hawk asks, uh, "What is the supply and demand like? How long? Th how long will those of us who did not receive one have to wait?" So uh, right now, where we stand, we just launched. Uh, it's looking like uh, forecasted. We're, uh, the demand is outpacing supply right now. So um, you know, we are rushing to m meet demand. Um, right now, if you place an order, it's Ships, uh, ships about a couple weeks out. So couple weeks uh, out. yeah, that, that's okay. where we stand right now. All right. Uh, K CAG66 asked, can the shield stream from wireless hard drive like, uh, like the Corsair Voyager? How would you stream from a hard drive? I'm not sure if I understand the question either, so I'm going to skip. Just, it would just use Wi-Fi. It's usually. Oh, use it as a NAS, kind of? It's, like a NAS drive. it's like the storage itself acts as a Wi-Fi wi access point. So oh, it's like that one we had? Oh, yeah. So if you can connect it over Wi-Fi, yeah, for sure. And if, it, if it's got software built in to browse the... I've never done that, but I mean, it, it should work. Yeah, either way, because it's Android. Yeah, so if, it's an, if Android it works on Android, it works, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can help asks, will it work with Bluetooth keyboards and mice? We actually answered that question earlier. And yes, Bluetooth keyboards, mice, yes. That's a yes to that. All right. And uh, somebody asked, I can't read the name, how does it? How hot does it get? Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I've never measured it, but um, not uncomfortable. I mean, it'll heat up. Any, any, any device is going to heat up uh, with extended use, but um, it's not uncomfortable. It, it won't burn you or anything like that. Okay, perfect. Um, then, uh, I, well, actually, you know, I had a, we had a question on Facebook about this, and I wanted to mention it. Uh, a young girl asked, would it work with her AMD-based Radeon card? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, no. No, it would not. <laughs> no, so we built in... Uh, uh, specific technology, specific architecture into our Kepler class GPUs that allow it to do this really lag free uh, streaming. Um, that's RIP. It doesn't exist anywhere else outside of Kepler GPUs, so that's, that's going to be a resounding no. Okay. Perfect. Sorry, young girl. <laughs> Sorry, young girl. <laughs> Get an NVIDIA card. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Wicked Kitty Box asks Can I connect uh, it through an HD PVR or is the signal other than HDI? No, actually, we're using the uh, the Intensity Pro, the Blackmagic Intensity Pro. So if it accepts it there with certain settings, I had to set it to 720 uh, at 60, 720p 60, yeah. And that's the only way I could capture it. Um, if I set it to anything else, it'll just be a black screen. So you'll have to figure it out for the HD PVR, whatever you're using. Um, and we just want to double clarify something. I know I'm getting told right now that a lot of people are asking about origin compatibility. Uh, so we're just going to repeat that. Right. So, you know, right now where we stand is we're launching with PC stream, uh, game streaming as a beta service. Right now it supports stream games with controller support. Um, we have a select uh, selection of titles that we certify right now. Um, once it exits beta, we're going to, you know, it'll be compatible with a lot more of those games, uh, Steam games that have controller support. Um, as far as outside of Steam, you know, the, there are ongoing discussions right now that um, I, you know, I'm going to steer clear of right now. Okay. Yeah. So, so they're 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 in. I'm going to speak for Will because I'm not official. So anything I say could be totally discounted by Will. So that's his protection. What I'm getting gathering from this is that they are in talks with EA, and for whatever reason, the contract's not signed yet. But eventually, it will be, and that's pretty much what I see out of this. You guys see what you want, and I could be totally wrong about it, but that's just me reading between the lines. Uh, and you don't have to say a word. So <laughs> uh, Chad Ashcroft 22 asks, will you update this in the future to allow streaming off another Wi-Fi network? In other words, this was something asked before. So right. can you play it off the internet, a, a high-speed uh, So internet? can you stream PC games off the internet? Um, right PC. now, no, you need Wi-Fi. I can't talk about uh, future products again, but we did demo uh, NVIDIA Grid, which is our cloud gaming system, you know, servers filled with GPUs running high-end graphics, on, uh, games with high-end graphics, streaming over the internet to thin clients like MacBook Pros, like tablets, um, and we actually even demoed it on Shield. Mm -hmm. So if you go to uh, youtube.com slash NVIDIA and you go and uh, you should Google Grid, uh, you'll see that demo showing uh, Street Fighter actually uh, being streamed from the cloud to, to Shield. To so. You know, uh, yeah. So it's in the mix. It's in the mix. It's in the mix. Okay. Uh, Jock Reborn asks, can the mobile GTX series, such as the GTX 760M, stream the same way as the desktop GTX line? I know the answer to that is no. So, so right now you need a uh, GTX 650 desktop uh, or higher to take advantage of PC game streaming beta. It is a beta service, so uh, keep that in mind. Everything we're talking about is beta. When we exit beta, uh, things will uh, change. Solidify. Yep, exactly. Okay. Uh, the Mini 2114 asks, since there's a grill and exhaust and an internal fan, will it gather dust over time inside the unit? 
Um, I'm sure it's entirely possible, even if there wasn't a fan, mm -hmm. that would happen. I mean, mm -hmm. if you open up your phone's battery, if you have a battery cover and you open that up, you're going to see a bunch of lint inside. Yeah. That's just how it happens. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Young D404 asks, will this run fraps? So that would probably be... Well, well, unless it's running off the PC. Yeah, I mean, how do you Android run that version. on Android? I don't know if there's an Android version. Yeah, Android operating system. So if it comes out on Android... If it's on Android, Android, yes. But yeah. uh, I don't know of Andro fraps for Android. So. Yeah. Uh, v Lady Kingpin 27 asks, I hear a lot of people trying to compare Shield to a PS4 and Xbox One. Do you think that's a fair comparison? It's not like the PS Vita gets compared to consoles as far as price point. Right, I don't think that's a fair comparison. Yeah. Um, full console, full standalone. Right, full console, full standalone from a hardware perspective and, uh, you know, uh, gig flops, you know, maybe there's a, com uh, there's a comparison there, but I mean, they're completely different experiences. This is a portable device, so it's not, I would say, no, it's not fair. Um, there are a lot of people comparing it to a PS Vita or a, 3D, uh, a, a 3DS, so I think that comparison uh, is, is, is a little more apt. Mega64 does a really funny video about this. They have a, a PS3 and a, a gas-powered generator and a TV, and he's wheeling around downtown San Diego, and you should, <laughs> he's like, I'm trying to play my game here. He's inside us. It's hilarious. You got yeah. to watch that. Um, so. This, uh, the next question comes from Ahergs, I, that's how I pronounce it. Will Shadowplay work while the PC is streaming to the Shield? Ah, Jesus. That's a great question. I, wow, I wish I knew the answer to that question. I don't, I don't Does, know the answer is to that it, question. It, uh, Rachel, can I don't you see ask why not. Phil? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't see why not because it's, uh, it's built into the Kepler. Uh, the architecture to support Shadowplay is built into Kepler. Um, because I'm just thinking because it's doing the, the H64 encoding for the, the shield, it's actually right. a good point because then it would also be doing it for that. Maybe it's doing it in the same point and it's just writing it to the hard drive as well as streaming it out. Yeah. I, I so. Unfortunately, I don't know the answer, so I, I, okay. I'd want to not answer that one. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. So I want to say that uh, the follow-up to that question is another segue to someone else's question is Largo Sensei asks, when will when do we see an update to it? When are we going to see an update for the shield? I'm, I'm assuming software, but... Yeah, software. I mean, we're updating it all the time. Yeah. So, uh, uh, for example, when you get your shield and you open it up and you go check for that software, the OTA update over the air, uh, you should see one as soon as you open it up. So, you know, uh, we're doing it all the time, basically, and he we push them out. They're not they're not controlled by anybody. We don't have to worry about you know skin version of Android getting in the way. So yeah. these uh, these updates are coming hard and fast. If it's if it's anything like your drivers for your cards, this is I expect it to just keep oh yeah out. all the time, so, man, all the time. Yeah. Especially that 4.3 Jelly Bean 4.3 update. So that's 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 in the works as well. That's the big one. Okay, uh, Breaking Adam asks, Are you better off running your PC your streaming PC games in 720p as the Shield can only display 720p? Or are there benefits to running it the same game in 1080p from the PC? Now my guess is that you're going to want to leave your PC the way it is. That's mm -hmm. the way this was designed. Mm -hmm. You don't need to dumb down your PC in order to do it. Am I correct? No, that's assumption? exactly right. So run your PC with everything cranked up if your GPU can uh, handle it. And uh, well, GFE, GFE has the experience to to, to, to figure out exactly. It. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you don't even have to think about it. Click exactly. the button and optimize it. Click the optimize button. It'll give you the best resolution possible. When yeah. it streams to Shield, it, uh, Shield will display 720p because I mean the display is a 720p display. Mm -hmm. um, but you get all those other effects, right? You get yeah. the physics the TXAA, you know, uh, 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 all the cool, uh, the textures and the lighting. Yeah, so, I've been yeah. told you guys worked on it for like two years, just setting up systems and, and recording data and seeing what works the best. That's so awesome. For uh, GeForce experience, yeah, right? For yeah, GeForce yeah. Experience. So yeah, we, we took a optimization. Yeah, we made a, we made it. We put a lot of work into that optimization feature. Okay. Yeah. So I have a question then. Yep, Paul's got so a question. If you're streaming then from the PC to the Shields. Is GeForce Experience adjusting the game settings so that the game that's streamed to the Shield is scaled down to 720? And no, no. So when you when you you're oh okay. Question. So the question was when you're uh, streaming your game from the PC to Shield and you use GeForce Experience to optimize is uh, optimize your settings. Uh, are those optimizations going to be optimized for Shield or for your PC? Those optimizations are for the PC. Okay. So it's going to optimize your PC for best experience because the uh, the performance of your PC is what you're going to see on Shield. Right, so it's more important to optimize for your PC, and uh, it, the uh, the the all the effects come through. Um, it's just going to be a little lower resolution on the Shield display. I already know the answer to this question, but hello, hello, hello asks. Will there ever be support for older graphics cards? And the problem with that is it's hardware based. It's so. hardware based, man. So that's the thing. So there's uh, there's specific architecture inside these Kepler GPUs that allows this uh, streaming to happen with uh, with that with with no lag. So um, those older cards just don't have it. You know, if you 
if you were to even try, I mean, the experience just wouldn't be there. Yeah. It, yeah. it just has to be hardware encoding. It has to be, so. yep. The hardware encoding is important. Uh, I am Mr. Sam82. Ask, any idea when it would be released internationally? I think you were asked that question earlier. Yeah, we're, uh, we're concentrating on the U.S. and Canada right now. Um, can't really, can't really uh, comment on outside, outside these markets. Uh, uh, Loud Rob asks, will it have flash drive support? Oh, yeah. So, like I mentioned, you know, uh, it doesn't have a full-size USB port, but if you get a com uh, an adapter down to micro USB, yes. Okay, perfect. As uh, well as the micro SD XC card slot, right? So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, because you don't even have to use USB if you don't want to. You can just use yeah, the you just pop in the pop in the SD card, and you're good to go. Get those at Newegg.com. On uh, Newegg. Uh, then you can go to uh, the next question here, which is Fernian, and he asks, "How's the audio quality? 16-bit, 24-bit, and the sampling rate?" Wow, that's a great question. Um, let me refer to my notes. Let me see if I can find an answer for that one. Let's come back to that one. Okay. Uh, while you're looking for that, let me see the next question. Uh, Noah PC Freak asks, does the mic carry over into in-game chat? Dang, that was actually a really good question. So, like, we're playing Black Ops. Mm -hmm. If I'm talking in that microphone, mm -hmm. would I be able to set it up to automatically transmit? I'm assuming that's based on the Android device now and not necessarily the PC. Because the PC is over here. And unless you're transcoding the audio output here and then also emulating that microphone on this end, it's not going to be picked up. So my solution to that was actually using Voxer and then running that in the background. But I didn't actually have a chance to test that. Yeah, that's a great question, too. I am not, I'm not sure about the exact answer for that one. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So then, then later when you're listening to this recorded, my, my main question is, if I have uh, Mumble or TeamSpeak or you know, Ventrilo app installed on that and it's running in the background, mm -hmm. could I be, be PC streaming and then be able to communicate via you know, just talking? Yeah. So I wouldn't have to hit a button. Uh, so. I mean, uh, not yeah as in yes, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, I totally to get that. the question. Okay. Um, you know, man, I wish I could tell you one way or, or the other. I have a hunch that yeah. the answer is yes. I don't want to. I'm glad I stumped you, but I've just yeah. been so busy. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't precursor this at all. I'm sorry, man. Um, but you're still looking on the sampling rate, and I got that microphone question answered. So Guri asks, is the NVIDIA encoder the same for all cards, and how powerful is it? I'm assuming they mean the H H.264 encoder, since we're talking about Shield. And how powerful is it? Um, yeah, that's tough to, to gauge power. So if you can do shadow play, which means anything your screen sees, depending on what resolution you set it to, it's going to take whatever that screen is and then output it. So if, the, if I've understood it correctly, as it's creating each picture and as it's painting it, every pixel and all the shaders and everything else as it's doing, it's also encoding it and thus writing it to the hard drive in that H.264 encoding. Mm -hmm. So if I had it whatever size, whatever your, P your CPU could handle, or your computer, excuse me, could handle, then your GPU is going to be able to equally run that. So if your system couldn't run it at 4K on your, on your system at home, then you probably couldn't shadow play it to 4K. Right, right. right. So exactly. in terms of the power, it would be dependent on which one. So if you get like a Titan or something like that, you'd be able to handle it. Exactly. Or 780. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I hope that answers your question, your question, Gree. Um, let's see. GingerMC asks, does Shield reduce frames per second, uh, or would you be getting the same frames on your Shield as your PC? So it's kind of a... It's, it's kind one of to one. one. It's so one to one. Yep, it's one to one. Because it's just a video being played to you. Right. It really is just a small amount of latency, and you said it was between 50 to 75. You guys are aiming for 75? Uh, uh, worst case. Yeah. Worst case. So yep. 50 is what, you're, what you get. And 75 is the worst case scenario right. in terms of milliseconds lag between the, the motion of me moving to the left and it showing it. Right. And, you know, like, like, again, you know, to put that in reference, uh, the round trip time between a console, you know, a console uh, game controller to the box to the TV, uh, you're looking at 100 milliseconds. That's generally not noticeable, right? And you can, uh, you can change timing on that as well. Um, if you're not noticing 100 milliseconds, you're probably not going to notice 75, 75 milliseconds. And we... That's, that's our goal, to aim well below uh, that threshold. Gotcha. OK, Evil Vengeance asks, is there ever any chance of non-NVIDIA support, such as with AMD cards? So we just answered this, too. Right. You have to have an NVIDIA Kepler, uh, Kepler class GPU, basically, to make yeah. this. It's make your intellectual happen. property, basically. That's right. That's so right. it's not going outside. I mean, you, you know, we put a lot of work into it. It's yeah. like uh, it's your uh, little baby. Yeah, it's our little baby. we got to make sure that it's in our cards, for sure. Yeah. Awesome. So okay. you want a GeForce card? Okay, uh, goat job. This is the last question, unless I get anything else from the background. Uh, will the shield work properly if I import it from the US to Europe? You did answer this question earlier, but I'm gonna let you do it again. Yeah, so, you know, again, right now we are only launching in the US and Canada. Um, if you do import it to, to, to Europe, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't see why, why it shouldn't work. Um, 
Okay. It's not. It's not. Uh, like the, like you're not stopping international downloads. In other words, of the newest drivers to whatever, install GFE and run with it. Right. Right. So, so you're not stopping it, but you're not selling it. Right. Exactly. Okay. So we're not supporting it. So if you do have issues, I mean, we're not. We're yeah, not going to. You got to mail it to you. your buddy exactly. in New York and have him ship it in. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Actually, I got one last question. One more. Yeah. V Lady Kingpin twenty seven asked one last question. Uh, it is from a graphical standpoint. Can the oh great now she's typing things and it's messing me up. From a graphical standpoint, can the Shield outperform the PS Vita? I know the Shield can stream PC games, but I would like to know if the Shield if how the Shield performs as a standalone versus the PS Vita. Um, without being too much of a um, no, it blows blows Vita out of the water. And yeah. there you have it. There you have it. It'll blow it out of the water. There by, you have it. By far. I mean. Okay. Yeah. All I mean, right. yeah, it, like we said before, right? That's an apples to apples, the Vita versus the Shield. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, our Apple's way bigger and more powerful. Okay. It's um, not like that Apple. Not like that Apple, yeah, exactly. <laughs> not like this. This is not an Apple, man. It's what not, are you talking it's, about? It's blue oh, yeah. tape. I what? love blue tape. Blue tape's an awesome it's My product. blue tape laptop. That's right. It's the blue. All right, guys. And that, well, that's it, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, is there anything else you want to add to this? Um, yeah, actually, so a few things. I, I think, you know, if you guys oh, want Oh, we didn't it. answer the last question for that guy, for the, the, the bit rate and the... the uh, the audio sa audio yeah, sampling, sampling quality, rate. I just don't know the answer to that one, unfortunately. So at some point or another, it'll be a spec sheet somewhere. Yep, absolutely. And um, you know, feel free to uh, to uh, hit us up on Twitter. You know, at Nvidia Tegra or. Uh, Maybe at, even at Newegg, I'm yeah. sure you guys can forward the question to me. Yeah, we could do that too. Yep. yep. Or uh, hit us up on our Facebook pages, and we'll try to we'll find that answer for you offline. Yeah. Um, if you want more information, shield.nvidia.com is where you want to go. Um, right now, you know, you'll you'll go to the page, and it'll offer you uh, the, uh, a Shield purchase, but you'll also find uh, optional accessories like the Shield carrying case okay. and uh, optional custom tags as well. Um, and uh, you know, I think. Good, uh, good idea to go to youtube.com slash newegg, right? To check uh, out. YouTube.com slash newegg is always the place you want to go. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's, our, that's Newegg TVs. If you're, if you're on our Twitch and you didn't know that we have a YouTube, you definitely want to check out our YouTube channel. That's, of course, youtube.com forward slash newegg. Uh, I also want to add that I could never have done any of this without Kyle. Kyle. Hey, <laughs> hey man. Pleasure's all mine. Will, thanks for coming here, sharing this yeah, information Yeah, Kyle, thanks, with for, thanks, for, thanks and, uh, for the opportunity. Like, man. absolutely. Thank you for, you know, donating this unit to me. Like, I really appreciate <laughs> it. You guys have been great. So, <laughs> probably going to head out soon. Then the other one, uh, I heard you were supposed to be giving me that one. I'm not sure if that's still the case, Will. Are you? Uh, yeah, you know what? I think we're done now. So, I, I don't know. It's time to cut the feed, right? Gonna, no. I'm just going to keep fishing for more. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, hey, to all of our listeners, thank you guys so much. And all of our viewers, I should say, since we're not a radio show, thank you so much for watching. Um, Will, once once again, thanks for gracing us uh, with your presence. Thanks for thanks for having me on the show, man. Yeah, absolutely. We're we're really excited to see what happens next. You know, and as we were saying before, you know, there's going to be developers out there developing stuff, and yeah. the underground is going to come out with some stuff because it's of course using Android. So absolutely. we can expect a lot of things to come out of this. So I can't wait to be blown away with what's hap what and happens next. Yeah, maybe so. we'll have another Q and A. Yeah, 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 that's true. Absolutely. Well, that, anytime you want to come in here, you know, you're always welcome. Will. Great. So, all Thanks. right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe and follow us on our Twitch channel, which you're already watching on us, or our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash newegg. And we'll definitely see you guys soon.